What's going on everybody? I uh, just wanted to put a little video together here about positive airflow um, in computer cases. What is it? Why I use it? And give you three examples between my file server, my router, and my gaming rig of ways to set it up and uh, show you firsthand what it looks like after about a year's worth of, of operation. So to get started, what is positive air pressure? Well, simply put, you're trying to force more air into a case than you're trying to suck out at once. Uh, if we use my file server as an example here, take the cover off. You can see we've got two intake fans in the front, one exhaust, and then we just got open ventilation everywhere else. Now, <clears throat> A common misnomer with positive air pressure is people get the idea that you're like literally building up pressure inside a case. Think like a, a turbocharger or a supercharger in a car. Well, it's not the case. I mean, these fans, these fans can't do that. They can't actually build up pressure inside of a case. Essentially, what you're just doing is you're trying to push air in faster than you can get it out. What that does is allows air to not only go out through your fan, but also to push out through any extra ventilation you have. And you can actually tell it that your positive airflow pressure system is working when you look at the vents after you know a few months or so like on here you'll see we've got another fan intaking in here for the power supply there's dust all around it but you're not seeing that dust build up you ever notice like, if you look at especially like older computers um, ones that people buy from you know, like Packard Bell and Dell and um, HP and Acer and all those guys you know over over all the years they always have big dust build up all around all their little vents and stuff well, the reason for that is usually in a lot of cases they have just a little fan in the back or you know sometimes you'll see like there'll be a fan attached to some sort of a duct or something in here and that's literally all it has so it sucks air out and it has to come in from everywhere else and you get all this dust in here you get dust bunnies everywhere well this server has been running for about a year i mean you can see i mean this isn't a dust free environment there is dust here but the inside is pretty Pretty darn clean. I mean, the flat surfaces, you know, get an extra little light in here. I mean, you can kind of see, like, the flat surfaces get a little bit of collection on them. But it's nowhere near as bad as some of the computers I've seen. And why is that? Well, generally, if you can keep the air moving quickly through a case, you know, it's coming in and it's immediately being sucked out here and some of it's going a little bit slower out through the vents. But most of the airflow is moving pretty quick. So you're going to have, you know, dust get stuck on fans. You're going to have, you're going to be some in your heat sinks and the fans on the heat sinks. You can see there's a little bit of dust on here from being sucked through the case. But it doesn't really have a chance to rest. I mean, you'll have a little bit, they'll get into some of these, you know, more dead spots area, like around, your, around the power supply, for example. And they don't, you know, don't have a chance to get sucked, up, sucked right back out again. So it does settle a little bit but not as bad as a normal case where you've got very anemic airflow coming in through the front or in through little side vents being pulled by one tiny little fan in the back of the case. And you got all this dead space where that dust can kind of come in and just settles and just builds up and builds up and builds up. And that's when you end up with those cables with, you know, dust bunnies all over them. And we'll get another kind of case in point here in the router. I haven't opened it up yet either. A little bit of dust in the vent. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, I guess. Set that out of there. But again, let me get some more light. So this one's been running for about uh, once is about eight, six or eight months old now. Hardly a speck of dust inside of it. And again, same kind of thing. Instead of using the factory single fan setup, I put two of them in here since the case allowed for it instead of having them an exhaust like the other one had or how it came from the factory their intakes they're pushing air in some of that's going to go through this heat sink cooling off the cpu and it pretty much all just gets pushed right back out the other side here and that's it simple very easy not a hard concept to figure out uh, i know a lot of people you know kind of wake out i think negative pressure would be better because you're sucking everything out well the reality is cooling wise is probably going to be about the same either way. There's not going to be much difference, but it's going to keep the case cleaner. To me, that's more important. Now we get over here to my gaming rig. 
this is a little bit of a different monster. So this thing, it's water cooled. I do have the bottom radiator dumping into the case. You know, so that does put heat in it, which then goes right back up to the top. So this is where positive pressure kind of does have a little added benefit. Um, I wanted to take some video of this from a thermal probe, but I can't find my probe. But what happens, let me open all this up here. And this hasn't been cleaned since, Jesus, since, well, a year ago. So this is a year's worth of dirt and buildup in here as well. This, you know, it's all getting cleaned out today. That's why I have all this out. But we can see, I got a couple fans there. There's a couple more fans, one behind this cage, one more here. So we've got four additional fans bringing fresh air in, plus the four going through the radiator down at the bottom. With those four fans, extra fans pushing air in, you actually end up with ambient air temperatures pretty close, or in case temperatures, pretty close to the ambient air temperature um, in the room. Uh, hopefully, if I can find my thermal probe, I will be able to demonstrate this for you with the case under load. It's you know only a few degrees warmer rather than being many, many degrees warmer like it was before adding those fans. But then, again, the added benefit, if we look around, a little bit of dust here and there, but overall not bad, because then again, I haven't, I haven't touched anything since last December. I do need to change out the coolant. That'll, I'll do that at a later date. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's the whole reason you know, you should, you should use a positive airflow setup in your case. Again, all you're doing is just trying to have more air going in versus out. A um, couple of ways of accomplishing that. You can have higher performance fans intaking, or you can just have more fans intaking uh, than you have exhausting. It's, uh, it's, it's a very, very simple setup. And it doesn't take much. I mean, if you've got a smaller case, you know, like this one here, good. Two in the front, one in the back. Works just fine. You don't need, you know, a dozen fans like that thing's got in it. Or again, going back to the, my little PS Sense router, same thing. Two intake fans, no exhaust in this case, but it's a very small one and there's not really... Eh, I mean, I could, I could make something work, but it's working as it is, so there's not really much point in uh, added complexity for no real gain. But that's it. So like I said, I just, want, I just wanted to talk about it for a minute, um, kind of show people... First thing, so you see people talking in the forums of bickering back and forth on it. And I think a lot of time when you get the people that are anti-positive for you know whatever the reason may be, I don't think they're looking at it from every angle. They're not thinking about things like keeping things clean inside the case, which I think for most of us, if you put a lot of time and effort into building your computers, you want them to be clean inside. If for nothing else, just to keep things from building up and then gunking them up and you know potentially doing some damage, you know. Heat sinks don't cool as good, for example. Um, in a very, very rare cases, you could have a short in a motherboard if there's enough gunk built up on it and it happens to be a little bit conductive. Um, I mean, that's a very rare, very extreme example, but, you know, it's, it's just things like that. You know, keeps the PC healthier over time and it makes it nicer when you do have to work on it. Not having to, you know, clean mounds and mounds and mounds of junk out of it first. So that's it. I just like I said, I just wanted to talk about that real quick, give a couple of real world examples of what positive air pressure can really do for you as a as a PC a user, PC builder. And hopefully you can apply that to your own setups and you know, enjoy the benefits of it. If you got any questions, comment below. Uh thanks and have a good one.